Okay, we have an interesting grade 10 question on waves. And this question was taken out from the grade 10 KZN September 2018 examination paper 1. The diagram below shows two waves, A and B, of the same wavelength, but different amplitudes intersecting. And guys, we can see from the diagram that if we have intersecting waves, we actually have a term for this and we call this the superposition of waves. And we know that interference is going to take place. And when we look at this, we can see that we've got a crest meeting a trough. So we're actually going to be getting destructive interference, which we know occurs when waves meet out of phase. So the first question asks for amplitude, define amplitude. From our definition, we know that amplitude is the maximum displacement from rest position. So rest position is our zero position. So the amplitude is the maximum displacement, in this case 2. Question 6.2, determine the amplitude of A if the amplitude is 2 thirds that of B. So the amplitude of A is 2 thirds the amplitude of B which we can see from the given diagram, the amplitude of B is 2 meters. And this would give us 4 over 3, which is 1.33 meters. And if we put that into this graph, we would get negative 1.33. 6.3, draw the shape of the resultant wave as the two waves cross. On the diagram, show the resultant amplitude. So for us to firstly get the resultant amplitude, resultant amplitude, we would need to add the amplitude of each wave. So we can see that we have positive 2 for wave B and negative 1.33 for wave A, and that would give us a positive 0 0.67 meters for the new amplitude. And the positive indicates to us that we would have a crest. We would begin with a crest, very similar to the shape of B. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw in our axes. We're going to label our axes with units. This is very important, and a mark is given here. And now we're going to draw in our resultant amplitude. So we know that we need to go to 0, 0,67. That would be somewhere around here. Now we need to check how many waves we have in that time. So I'm going to go back to the original graph and we're going to check. So we have one complete wave and then we have the second complete wave. So there are two complete waves. So that would be one and that would be our second one. I'm just going to extend my x-axis now and that would be the resultant wave. Question 6.4, what type of interference is illustrated here? So we've already discussed this, it is destructive interference and the reason why it is destructive interference is because the waves meet out of phase. Name the principle used to answer question 6.3. So the principle was the principle of superposition of waves. And we should be able to name and state this principle, although in this question we were only asked to name the principle. If A and B are both sound waves, what property of sound will be affected when the two waves cross each other? So we can see that um, when we have the, uh, what changes when they cross each other, and we can see that when they cross each other, we said that the resultant amplitude changes. And the property of sound that is linked to amplitude is loudness. So the loudness would be affected. Remember that the greater the amplitude, the greater the loudness of the sound. Okay, I hope that helped you. Please share this video with, with as many of your friends as you can so that more people can benefit from these videos.